Hajj. Hajj is the fifth pillar of Islam. It is an act to make pilgrimage. It is a mandatory religious duty for Muslims. Umrah is an Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca that can be made year-round. Mutamars or pilgrims travel to Islam's holy sites in Saudi Arabia from around the world to perform religious rites. The Islamic ritual of Hajj, the Arabic word for pilgrimage, occurs once a year and lasts for five or six days during the last month of the Islamic calendar. This year, Hajj is set for July 28th to August 3rd this year. Unlike Hajj, Umrah is not compulsory for Muslims, but millions of Muslims make the trip annually. The majority of external pilgrims last year were from Pakistan, Indonesia, India, Malaysia and Turkey. Saudi Arabia reported they issued 1.6 million Umrah visas through 2019 until early December of the year and hosted 1.3 million Umrah pilgrims. There are 1.2 billion Muslims worldwide. Hajj Adult Muslims are required to perform Hajj at least once in lifetime if they have the physical or financial ability. During pilgrims, follow the footsteps of the Prophet Ibrahim and his family. Prophet Ibrahim preached the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a message that was later revived and renewed by the last of all Prophets Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, along with his son Ismail والسلام, built the Kaaba in the holy site of the holy city of Mecca and accordingly this pillar reflects the notion of complete submission to Allah and the Abrahamic faith. For many pilgrims, Hajj is a per- perceived to be a journey of the body and the soul at the time. The first day of Hajj is 8th of Zil Hijjah. The last month of the Islamic calendar, the holy journey requires the pilgrim to perform 10 rituals before and during Hajj. Here are the basic steps you want to know about the Hajj. The state of Ihram. This is considered the first step of, for any pilgrim wishing to perform Hajj. To enter the state of Ihram, a pilgrim has to recite an intention to perform Hajj called the Talbiya. This is when a pilgrim prepares one soul, mind and body for journey to the Almighty God, entering the state we mean from the Mi'qat or a place that is outside the pilgrimage area. Men and women going on Hajj adhere to a specific dress code which is aimed at showing modesty and shedding all sign of wealth. Men done on stitched white garments while women wear normal stitched clothes with a headscarf. Women are forbidden, however, from wearing the burqa or the niqab. In fact, the word ihram originates from the Arabic term tahrim, which means prohibited. Because the state is believed to be a, a special essence of spirit, spiritual purity, there are certain acts that are not allowed for pilgrims. Among them are using perfume, cutting hair or nails, and slaughtering animals. Mecca, the, the Saudi Arabian city, is considered Islamic holy site, and it's hold, it holds Al Masjid Al Haram or the Grand Mosque that surrounds the Kaaba, a keyboard shaped building which believes that Muslims have been put up together by Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, and his son Ismail almost 4,000 years. Muslims call the Kaaba the house of Allah or God and are expected to face the direction of Mecca when praying in any part of the world. The Waf Upon arrival to Mecca, pilgrims should make the Waf or circumambulation in, is considered an integral part of the pilgrimage and refers to the seven time pilgrimage circled around the Kaaba at the beginning, during and at the end of the Hajj. 
The circuits are done in a counterclockwise direction and are thought to express the unity between Muslims in worshipping one God. The rotation are marked by Al Hajr al Aswad or the black stone at the eastern corner of the Kaaba. Sayy, to traverse the distance between the hills of Safa al Marwa for seven times, this is why it's called Sayy. The term in Arabic means to walk or move quickly. After the Waf, Pilgrim performs Sayy in what commemorates the journey by Prophet Ibrahim a.s. wife to find water for her infant Prophet Ismail a.s. after they were left in the desert plains of Mecca and Mukarramah at God's command. The hills are now enclosed by the Grand Mosque al Masjid al Haram. Departure to Mina. Pilgrims proceed to the tent city of Mina on the first day of Hajj, or what is called the day of Tarwiya. They converge to Mina for prayer, which lies roughly 8 kilometers from Mecca. Pilgrims are required to remain in Mina until the sunrise of the second day of Hajj, where they leave to Arafah. They pay another trip to Mina on the third day of Hajj to perform the symbolic stoning of the devil, the sixth rite of Hajj, Mount Arafah. After the dawn pairs in Mina, pilgrims start the journey to the desert plains of Arafah. Dubbed as the most important day of Hajj, Muslims spend the day of Arafah in the vacancy of the mountain praying and repenting. It is also a sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ to fast during this day. The ritual of the of this day ends at sunset or Maghrib Salah when pilgrims move to Muzdalifa. Muzdalifa. After descending from Arafah, pilgrims arrive to the open land of Muzdalifa, southeast of Mina. People gather in makeshift tents and are required to perform Maghrib and Isha Salah. It is also considered to be the best place to collect pebbles for Rami al Jamara. Rami al Jamara. The symbolic stoning of the devil where pilgrims fling pebbles called the Jamara at three walls in this city of Mina, the stoning marks the third day of Hajj or Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Adha, the festival or the feast of sacrifice, is celebrated by Muslims who are not on pilgrimage by slaughtering animals to mark the Prophet Ibrahim willingness to sacrifice his son Ismail uh, the command of God. Pilgrims spend the three days of these stony pillars that represent the devil. They later purchase his tokens to have a sheep slaughtered in the Mecca neighborhood of Mina. And then after uh, they finished the stoning of the devil, they have to do the farewell tawaf around the Kaaba seven times. Thank you for looking at my video. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn the notification on. Trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of July or the end of the Hijrah. Inshallah. We'll see you next time. سوئے مدینہ روانہ ہوتے ہیں رسول پاک کے روزہ پہ حاضری کے لیے وہاں پہنچ کے سلاد و سلام پیش کریں سمیم قلب سے اظہار بندگی کے لیے سنو مناس کے حج کا بیان ہے